I think he can be both because most villains are tragic figures. Um, m most villains have a reason for why they're so evil or villainous and Shylock definitely has some good reasons why he, he does what he does. Um, why he wants this pound of flesh from this man who has been belittling him and um, the way he's treated throughout the play is very tragic. So you can definitely see why he's doing it, even though you're not really rooting for him at any point. I think it's, it's quite tragic what happens to him at the end. He's a tragic figure. Like he can be painted in the villain easily in the trial, like in the trial he could be like the villain, like you want to kill him, you're a murderer. But it, actually rehearsing it and you hear what Shylock says, it's actually really interesting how he's pretty much just saying that he's just a man of his word. And if that's not worth it, then well, what is a man really worth besides his word? So his, his comeuppance is, is tragic, but he deserved it, but he's not a horrible person. He's just, he's been, he's turned out like that because of the circumstances that he's been brought up, being the Jew in Venice. Interestingly, uh, in a lot of ways a tragic figure um, but there can't be any doubting uh, his reaction to the way in which he's treated does make him a villain because uh, let's face it he really wants to cut a pound of flesh off Antonio think of that you're gonna have a person kneeling in front of you and you're going to just carve away at their chest until you've carved off a pound of flesh that's villainish you can't deny that, and uh, it, it can't be accepted in, 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 in a good world. Um, but, you know, we do see that he is driven to it, and that's the lesson, I think. I think there's no such thing as a villain. I think a villain, what we call a villain, is someone who's experienced so much pain and we can't comprehend what their reaction to that pain is. So it's easier to vilify them in society than to embrace them and help them. So. Obviously he's so bitter because he's experienced so much pain and we can't understand that level of pain so we can't understand why he would revenge, why he would, he would seek to strike back at the world that had injured him so. And instead of being shown kindness, which is I believe the only way to lead someone out of that kind of spiral, we, we pile prejudice upon prejudice upon prejudice until there's nothing left of the man he was. He just becomes what we think that he should be and we think that they're evil, so they become that. Because he plays my father, I empathise with his plight. Because, you know, he, in, in the world of the play and unfortunately still in the world that we live in, there's a lot of anti-Semitism that still exists. Um, there's a lot of racism that still exists in a really powerful way. And so ultimately Shylock is just um, striving to be recognised as a human being with equal rights and opportunities like everybody else. And so because of my relationship to his character, I would say ultimately he's a tragic figure that's, and his main objective is so much bigger th than himself. He's fighting for not just his own personal kind of um, gains and, and finances and whatever and livelihood, but he's actually speaking for uh, a world of people behind him. So I empathise with him. <laughs>